Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another meal prep video. So in this week's meal prep, I have two brand new recipes for you guys. I have a keto ham and cheese bites recipe, as well as a cheesy garlic chicken and broccoli recipe that I'm actually tweaking a little bit because I'm throwing it in the crock pot. But these videos are intended to keep you guys motivated and inspired to meal prep for yourself and your family. Also, just to keep keto exciting, because I don't want you guys to think that keto is getting boring and I don't want anybody to fall off the wagon. So let's get to cooking. So we are going to start this meal prep out right, and we are going to start it with some bacon. That is just the great value thick cut bacon that I bought at Walmart if you guys watched my grocery haul. And I like to just throw my bacon in the oven because I think that is way more convenient and it's less messy in my opinion. But I just take a cookie sheet, I line it with aluminum foil, and I like to take my bacon and fold it in half because it fits on the tray a little bit better. But I normally cook these at 400 degrees, but I already had something else in the oven at 350 degrees, so that's what we cooked it at. But look at that deliciousness right there, and that is going to be great for carnivore week. I have a feeling bacon is going to definitely be a staple on the menu. Next up is boiled eggs. I always put one cup of water in my Instant Pot, and I throw it on egg, and I cook them for around three to four minutes, depending on how many eggs. I cooked a dozen eggs this time. So I always get my ice bath ready because after it is done in the Instant Pot, I throw it in the ice bath for around five minutes or until I'm done doing whatever else I'm doing with my meal prep. I like to try to make life convenient and easy, especially on the go right before we're going to work or busy mornings or whatever. So I always try to peel my eggs so that way it's an easy, quick grab and go before work. And then half of those eggs I used for a recipe, which is coming up. And then the other half I threw in baggies for people to just take. So I'm going to take this Jimmy Dean sausage. I threw it in that bowl there. I'm also throwing some oregano in there. And we are going to be making scotch eggs. I have made this before on my channel. If you guys have not made keto scotch eggs, you all are missing out because a boiled egg wrapped in sausage must I say anymore? Um, I'm also throwing some pepper in there and I'm just going in with the tools God gave me and I am just going to give that a good mix and then we are going to wrap all that sausage around those boiled eggs. So this recipe makes six scotch eggs so I just kind of eyeball how much sausage I use. I don't measure it out or weigh it out or anything. I just kind of guess. And I just make sure that the sausage is around the egg completely because sometimes part of the egg wants to poke out a little bit. So I try to make sure that I just have the sausage around the egg pretty evenly. And then I just throw it on that baking sheet and we are going to be good to go. I personally won't be eating these this week because the sausage that I bought does have a couple grams of sugar and I think like one carb, which is not really what you want when you're doing carnivore. But I promise you, you guys are going to love these. These are protein packed and absolutely fulfilling to start your day. I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees and I cooked these for around 20 minutes, but just watch them. Every oven's different. Just look for a slight golden brown on the top, but yes, stop drooling you guys. I know these look bomb. Just give them a try. I promise you, you and your family are gonna love these. So next up is one of the brand new recipes I'm going to be trying, and this is called Keto Ham and Cheese Bites. And the first thing I'm putting in there is two cups of chopped ham. And I just found that at Walmart, that's where I get that. And then I also threw in there four ounces of cream cheese. And I just tried to incorporate the cream cheese in with the ham a little bit before I moved on to the rest of the ingredients. So next up was one third cup of coconut flour, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese, as well as three eggs. 
Now, this didn't call for any seasonings at all, but I decided to add my own seasonings because I felt like it was going to be a little bit bland. So I did add a little bit of garlic salt to this recipe. And then I just gave it a quick stir and then I did put it in the refrigerator because it does say to chill the dough before you go and bake it because if not, it'll flatten out too much. And then I just kind of took the dough after it was in the refrigerator for a little while and I just kind of put it on the parchment paper just like you would cookies. And just to give you guys a heads up, I am not going to be doing a how did it taste video because this week is the carnivore challenge. So we are relying solely on my family. And just to give you guys a heads up, this is definitely a family approved recipe. They thoroughly enjoyed this. As you saw, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I ended up baking these around 24 minutes and they came out excellent. These smell so good out of the oven. And again, my family loved these. And this is perfect for breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack, anything. Next up, brand new recipe number two, keto garlic chicken with broccoli and spinach. So as you see, I'm just cutting up the broccoli. I like to soak my vegetables in vinegar water to get off any bacteria. I cut up some tomatoes. And then in that crock pot, I already had some chicken that I cut up. I just threw the vegetables right there on top of it. And I threw in a pretty good amount of garlic. We absolutely love garlic as well as some salt. I'm also gonna throw in some oregano. This girl loves me some oregano as well. And this recipe was originally supposed to be made in a pan, but I decided to throw it in a crock pot for ease as well. There are so many recipes out there that you typically would cook in a pan that you could probably just throw in a crock pot and it would turn out just fine. I'm also throwing in here some black pepper as well as four ounces of cream cheese. So I actually had somebody reach out to me the other day saying, hey, is there any way you could do more crock pot recipes? And I personally love the crock pot and I feel like here lately I haven't been using the crock pot as much. So I am down for that. I am down for the challenge. If you guys have recipes, crock pot recipes that you know of that are delicious leave it in the comments below i would love to try out you guys's recipes but i am always down for a great crock pot recipe because talk about easy <laughs> and look at that look at that deliciousness all you got to do is throw it on low throw the lid on there cook that for around six hours and then I ended up adding the spinach and a little bit of cheese after around six hours. I didn't add all the cheese that the original recipe asked for, but my family loved this. They put it over cauliflower rice. As a mom, when you fix a meal that everybody likes, you feel like super mom. You're like, score! And it's true. Um, they thoroughly enjoyed that. Next up grilling like a boss because as most of you guys know it is carnivore week next week so i am going to be cooking up these chicken thighs these are boneless and skinless as well as these beef steak burgers these are angus burgers those burgers i get at walmart they are the best hamburgers ever so the hubby was helping me out and he already had some hot dogs and some sausages on the grill. I will not be eating those on carnivore because they do have some carbs that I'm going to try to avoid, but the burgers is game on for carnivore. And I'm just keeping carnivore simple. I'm just throwing a little bit of salt and pepper on there because some of those other seasonings, you do get into some carbs, some sugars, and some ingredients that you really don't want on carnivore. You just kind of want to stay away from some of those ingredients. But salt and pepper, simple salt and pepper is definitely A-OK -okay on carnivore. Look how delicious that looks. I personally love sausage. Who doesn't love sausage? And then the burgers, mmm, so good. I wanted to make sure that I didn't cook them too, too much, so that way when I microwaved them during the week, um, they wouldn't be too dry. My favorite thing to do if I'm gonna do carnivore is to take a burger 
with a fried egg and some bacon. So, so good. So now I just threw on there the chicken thighs. Again, those are boneless and skinless. And I am just gonna grill those up so that way hopefully I will have a little bit of variation on carnivore. I'm gonna try to stick with mostly like red meats cause that's more carnivore-ish, but just in case I gotta mix things up. But that chicken looks delicioso. So, so freaking good. Next up is some carne asada. And that I got at the ranch market probably like a month ago and I figure I might as well cook it up for carnivore week, but absolutely delicious. We love us some good carne asada up in this house. And again, I'm just going in with some sea salt as well as some ground black pepper, keeping it super simple. Look at those grill marks. So, so good. Look at the fat on there. Look how juicy that is. Perfect for carnivore week. Next up is dessert. I won't be enjoying this because of carnivore week, but I have had these before and these are bomb. These are going to be keto cinnamon French toast cookies. And the first thing you're gonna do is put in a half a cup of butter and you're gonna melt it in the microwave slightly. Then you're gonna throw in a fourth a cup of your erythritol of choice, as well as one third cup sugar-free maple syrup. I use the Monk Fruit Maple Syrup by Lacanto. That stuff's delicious. I did give it a quick stir. And then I'm also throwing in there one teaspoon of vanilla and I kind of stirred it after everything that I threw in there as far as the wet ingredients. So I'm also throwing in there one egg. Then we're going to go in with the dry ingredients. Two cups of almond flour. Going to throw in there a half a teaspoon of baking soda. That was a fourth a teaspoon. That's why you threw, saw me throw two of those in there. The same thing, a half a teaspoon with xanthan gum. And then I gave that a good mix. Then I threw that in the fridge. I'm gonna let that chill for a little bit. Now I'm just going to be making the cinnamon sugar coating, which is two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and two tablespoons of erythritol. And then I'm just gonna stir that up and you have your cinnamon sugar mixture. Then once the cookies chilled for a little bit, I just went in with my spoon and you're really supposed to roll it in the cinnamon sugar mixture, but I find that it's a little too sticky for that. So I just put the cookies on parchment paper on my cookie sheet, and then I just sprinkled the cinnamon sugar over the cookie. It worked out perfectly. And this makes 12 cookies. And they turned out to be fairly large cookies as well. Again, I'm just kind of spreading the cinnamon sugar over the top of it. Make life easy, y'all. I did preheat my oven to 355 degrees. And those cookies look delicious, even when they're not even baked yet. <laughs> I love cinnamon, though. So anything with cinnamon is a win-win for me. Again, preheated the oven to 355 degrees, and it says to bake these for 10 minutes, but I had to bake these for around 15 minutes. Look how delicious those look. Again, I have had these, they are delicious. Again, y'all, no drooling, just go make them. <laughs> I promise y'all are gonna love these. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cookie is to prep for keto. I'm just curious. So that ends this week's meal prep. If you guys plan on making anything that you saw in this meal prep, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram. Let me know how you like these recipes. And even if you were meal prepping or batch cooking that you didn't um, use any of the recipes in this, still tag me. I love to see what you guys are meal prepping for the week. And plus it gives me ideas. Just like you guys say I give you ideas. 
definitely give me ideas. And if there's anything that you want me or you want to see me meal prep, leave a comment down below. Say, hey, you know what? Check out this recipe and I will try to incorporate it into some of my built my meal preps. I'm definitely always willing and always looking for brand new recipes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. That really helps my video out. Also, I would absolutely love to have you guys as part of my Simply Misty family. So if you are not subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button as well. And if you subscribe, don't forget to tap that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. For now, I think that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. But I don't know why You hit the road But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when you're around